Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. And on this channel, we go over all things fragrance. If it is your first time watching, I do like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time. And we've been going over Fruity Tropical Escapes. Today is a perfect fragrance to fit that bill, to fit that category. Uh, we've discovered some really nice fragrances this summer. Uh, I believe I started a little before summer and um, I've just been blown away by the quality, by the uh, different approaches to summer scents that we've been experiencing. If this is something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos. So for the review itself, we're going over Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue Summer Vibes. The bottle is what drew me in. It's a beautiful bottle. I just was crossing my fingers that it was going to be just as beautiful in the scent uh, in department because I did enjoy the setup of the note structure. Right when I saw it, I said, okay, this looks good. Um, you know, over the years, I have been experimenting with light blue, the original light blue Dolce & Gabbana, but it was never my jam. It was never my cup of tea. I always had to layer it in order to be able to wear it, and so I never invested in a full bottle. Now, this release here, 2023 release, um, I am going to talk to you about how I played around with the fragrance because I've had it for a few weeks now, um, and also... How did I come upon it? Well, I stumbled upon it at the Sephora. I was doing an Amazon return at Kohl's and uh, booked to Sephora. I had an agenda, okay? <laughs> I had DNG Light Blue Summer Vibes on the mind and I said, I want to go smell that. Sprayed it on my hand and all the way to the office. I'm like, yes, this is beautiful this is everything that the marketing is showing us this is fresh you know getaway tropical um not tropical like coconutty or you know island drink vibes it, it was just fresh and sweet and and just reminded me i i just want to be near water you know just beautiful fragrance and uh so i decided i needed a full bottle <laughs> and here we are now in the top for the fragrance, we have Calabrian Bergamot, in the mid, peach, and in the base, cedarwood. I love me some peach. Peach is one of my favorite, favorite notes. Uh, I don't even mind when it's super synthetic. I really don't. However, this one is not synthetic. In the On the Sephora website, it does say, Retaining the citrus base of the iconic light blue fragrance, the fresh and joyful note of Calabrian Bergamot, blossoms with the sweetness of peach picked at the peak of its ripeness. I was going to say bellowing. <laughs> Balancing everything that with the soothing touch of cedarwood leaves a mysterious sensual trail. I'm with them on the mysterious sensual trail. This ha this lingers. It has some sillage. It does come off of you and other people do smell this on you. I was very happy with that. I was like, oh my gosh, outside, when it warms up on your body, you can just, it just radiates off of you for a while. Um, I want to say it could go really strong for a good four hours, like you're really radiating the scent. Uh, and then it starts to taper down on, into a skin scent at about the sixth hour mark or so. Uh, it doesn't fully, full on leave you though, which I thought was very interesting for an eau de toilette. And uh, for a fragrance that the OG, the, the original fragrance, has that, that um, you know, reputation of being just, um, I need to apply this every two hours. <laughs> it just kind of dissipates really quickly. This one held on, and I want to attribute that to the woody base that it does have, the, the cedar wood. Um, gosh, because you can, it gives you an enjoyable bubble. It really does. Uh, for, for a nice amount of time uh, throughout the wear, again, the bottle is what drew me in. And I was just hoping <laughs> that it was going to be a great scent. And it was on its own. When this opens up, oh, it's so juicy. You can smell fruit. I mean, fruit, um, you know, citrus fruit. You can't, it's not lemony like lemon pledge at all. It's extremely smooth. And then um, 
I feel like the the woody base shines through immediately, almost immediately. Um, I get I get the bright bright citruses, uh, but then I also get that woody base coming in. Um, oh man, do I can I detect the mid the peach that it says it has? No, I feel like the bergamot and the peach just meld and mesh together. If I didn't know that there was peach in this fragrance, then I wouldn't be able to tell you that there was peach here. I wouldn't be like, oh yeah, that's peach. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just not what I am smelling or, or able to perceive at all. Uh, but it's juicy and it's citrusy and that's that's good enough for me <laughs> um can i add other things to it to make it more peach uh yes i can so i don't i, do, I don't mind that aspect at all but if that's that's a deal breaker for you the fact that you cannot detect the peach um you know it's not it's not gourmand smelling at all it's fresh it's refreshing uh, i don't believe it's it's made to be a, a gourmand it's more of an aromatic fragrance um yeah so i don't get the peach flat out uh, but it, it just melts together now um really really surprisingly long lasting and clings to your clothes for an eau de toilette i mean i was expecting four hours and out you know like oh i can't smell this on myself at all um, but it gives a really nice six, seven hour wear and that's enough. That is definitely enough. Um, do I, well, when I was wearing the fragrance, I did, where is it? Oh, it's up there. I can't reach it though. I did pack it in a little travel for me. Um, you know, kind of like this size, put it in my purse and, and respray to my heart's content. <laughs> like I want to get those, that juicy opening again. And I did, I was able to spray it again around around the sixth, seventh hour mark, re-sprayed it and re-enjoyed it in the afternoon. It was so good. Uh, this is one of those fragrances that to me, at least because of the scent of it, is very much worth re-spraying, um, you know, if, if you would like to continue to experience it as strong as it is for the first four hours. Um, now, that was it for the fragrance itself. I feel like it's really, and then I say something else. I feel like it's really unisex as well, the fragrance, especially combining it with other things, but on its own standalone, straight up unisex. I mean, I really do. Now the poor home, I did get my nose on that too when I was in Sephora. I said, I wanna smell the, the poor home. And that one was a very, very, aquatic toned you know beach man vibes like it was very very masculine to me this right here not so much feminine leaning more straight up unisex um yeah and in fact you could layer it to make it a little more masculine leaning if you would like uh, i do have some options here for you guys so if you're into a little bit of layering i do have some some fragrances I wore with it. Most recently, because it's fresh on my mind, I did wear it with the Lotion Fresh Getaway by Bath & Body Works. This has bright yuzu citrus and fresh ocean air and it matches the aura of the scent perfectly. And then I also wore that with Midnight Blue Citrus, one of my recent pickups from Bath & Body Works. I've just been loving this. It has juicy citrus, fresh spring water and sweet mango and my mouth just waters at this sweet mango <laughs> yes it's so good and it also i feel like the scent has the little bit of uh cedar wood that you know the ba the woody base that this summer vibes has this has the same type of feel as well as your fresh getaway has like a clean fresh citrus feel and it just went together and look they match even they're the same color scheme <laughs> i thought oh this is perfect it just went so well and it's so enjoyable um also only goes a good six seven hours wearing it together like this did not extend the life of the wear um but the enjoyability definitely the the scent bubble was much bigger and much more enjoyable for me personally truly enjoyed that um and now another way that you could wear this, make it. Now, this way you can make it last 
eight hours plus, a lot more longevity, a lot more sillage with these two next fragrances I'm about to show you. Oh my goodness. Azora. We have Azora here. I don't like to show you guys it's reflective. Azora by... Uh, the collection, what is it? The Atar collection. I do have Hayati and Azora, and this is just a wonderful, clean, but yet um, apricot smelling, delicious fragrance. This is, oh, this is just, it. it's a beautiful scent. I truly enjoyed it. I do have a full day wear test. I'll link it for you guys in the description so you, if you haven't checked this out yet, you can. Um, I got it for about a hundred or so dollars, really nicely priced, beautiful scent, melds right along here with summer, um, I was going to say summer, yeah, summer light blue, light blue summer vibes, <laughs> it's a long name, Azora goes so, so well, if you don't want to amp up the fruitiness, I always want to amp up the fruitiness, that's just the kind of person I am, I love sweets, I love fruit, um, you know, but if you just want to uh, bump up, give it a little more longevity and not so much fruit, then I rec highly recommend uh, Vallea by Perfumes de Marley. This is clean cotton sheets. This is, at the same time, you do get a little bit of, of uh, oh, with that mandarin that they got going on in here, it also has bergamot. So if you want to make it more of a bergamot balm, then go for it with this. I will say um, that this is just what make it so much more elegant. That is what I felt with Perfumes de Marley Vallea. I just felt elegant, Ugh, just beautiful. Azora, fruity, more enjoyable, uh, but with Vallea, definitely elegance i mean i'm wearing white and i am ready to go it's just a, a gorgeous fragrance wearing it here with summer vibes just would give it enough fruit to wear you know if you don't want too much fruit it's fine and you're going to get more longevity out of the fragrance out of the combo yes you are <laughs> so good um so talking about um maybe changing up the tone a little bit just a tad oh just a tad uh, this isn't the exact like the midnight blue citrus i said kind of oops <laughs> kind of reminded me completely of the same scent with the mango with the citrus a little bit of cedar wood touch this one does not have that this has rain kiss palms amazon dragon fruit and misty breeze but it is a wonderful um, you know, add some water springs to it. Just, I think it would mesh so nicely. Oh gosh, I didn't get to try it, but I would. <laughs> I would definitely try um, this fresh jungle rain. Just would with the summer blue light vibes. Can I call it what it's named? Light blue summer vibes, you guys. It's a long name. It's, it's really giving me troubles today. <laughs> All right, um, what else? Oh, this is such a gorgeous scent, you guys. On its own, it was beautiful, like I said. Um, oh, I did get to mix it with this. This is You Pick by House of Glory. I do have the Eau de Parfum, and it did help extremely with the longevity of the scent. This is a You Pick, like I said, and it has sweet summer apricots in a wooden basket, apricot, Tahitian, vanilla, sandalwood, and cedar. Yes, this just marries, uh, you know, the cedar in here and it throws in that apricot feel. Um, I do get a, a nice peachy tone to this as well, even though it doesn't have peach per se. And uh, the last thing that I would try here to add a little more peach to this would be the pretty as a peach. Now you're adding jasmine, you're adding a little bit of a floral tone into this, but the peach is undeniable in this fragrance. Oh yes, um, pretty as a peach. I love to wear this with Killian's Liaison Deja Room. It's, what, it's my favorite combination of all time with pretty as a peach. Uh, but I, I would love to try it with Summer Vibes. I, I don't see why not. That is one of Bath & Body Works' longest lasting fragrances as well. Uh, definitely long lasting. Okay, you guys. Um, I think that is it for the review for Summer um, 
light blue summer vibes <laughs> and and now i want to talk to you guys about the upcoming explorations that we're going to have on the house on the house <laughs> in the closet okay different houses is what i was about to say i got ahead of myself because i'm so excited um different houses different things i did get a shipment in today from none other than genre perfumes and we are very soon going to compare you guys Mini More Eau de Parfum by Louisiana Perfumes, Genre Perfumes, Louisiana. Check that out. Such a cute bottle. This is one of two styles. This is the 50 ml bottle. There's also the 30 ml bottle. Really cute with a really cute cap. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can find a picture for you guys. And we're going to compare it. I did get the original uh, mini House of Sillage Mini Mouse here. And it does come with Mickey. I don't know why we've been shading Mickey. <laughs> I'm so excited about Minnie. Um, it, Mickey looks to have really nice notes as well. The Mickey fragrance has coconut, cocoa, cacao, and sweet vanilla. Um, I think I also read that it had orange blossom in it. And then uh, the main notes in Minnie Mouse are marshmallow, raspberry, and vanilla. Also has a little bit of coconut. I did already spray this original fragrance um, on my hat. I just couldn't. I couldn't. Before I even got the mini more, I had to spray this. And I really didn't get too much of the coconut. Can't wait to do a full day wear. See what it gives. Um, you know, and compare it side by side. Okay. I'll probably wear it alone another time. Uh, I did wear this uh, overnight and just enjoyed it so, so much. It's a beautiful marshmallow is what I get with a hint of raspberry. Um, and then this mini more here, I did spray it today. It just arrived and it was bliss, okay? So I'm going to let you guys know exactly what, what this is giving. Is it similar? Is it different? Uh, what is the longevity the same or different? You know, uh, do we get any sillage? Uh, are people going to notice this on you? All of that. <laughs> yes, that is going to go beautifully, I feel. And uh, next thing we're going to do is I almost got the rest of my Bath & Body Works haul in and I just have to jump the gun. I was going to talk to you guys about Vampire Blood in that video. I wore it today. I wore it today with genre perfumes. We're still on the topic of genre. Essence, my favorite from the house. I do have a top five genre perfumes favorites and Essence is the one for me. Look at this. Less than halfway already. Uh, this, is a, this is a favorite. Combining it with Vampire Blood was just wow. <laughs> wow. All day long. I did not reapply. Uh, I came back in from, from running an errand I thought I only smelled of hot heat, you know, like when you come back in from the outside and it's 114 heat index. Um, and no, I got, whoa, you smell really good. And I'm like, really? <laughs> like, I think I just smell like hot. Uh, and they're like, no, you smell like fruit, like so good. Yes, beautiful combination, you guys. We have red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum in here. Mm, it marries the raspberry and, and uh, woody tones that we have in here as well. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait to get into it fully uh, when we go over Bath & Body Works, you guys. That was a magnificent combination. I just... Very nice fragrant day. I've been having beautiful fragrant days with with summer vibes, with narcoticas, narco oasis even. Um, you know, combining different things. Um... We do have a couple, it's still really hot out here, you guys. So I was inspired to get the sample, Genre Perfumes and Gillian Water. I think you say it like that, and Gillian. Uh, this is the inspired by Creed. I can't remember the name. Virgin Island Water, I believe. Uh, and Gillian Water, inspired by Creed's of Virgin Island Water. This has a, a lime note that I'm actually really excited about. You could combine lime notes wonderfully with summer, uh, light blue summer vibes. Uh, next, we have Luna Paradisa. And this is actually um, the Killian's Midnight Moonlight in Heaven dupe. 
uh, you know, were inspired by Killian's Moonlight in Heaven. And that's one of my favorite fragrances. And I've never tried John Rose's version of it. So I'm ready to do that as well. Um, so plenty of things, you guys, coming up on the channel. I also have the Burberry Goddess that we're going to go over, do a full day wear test review. I've already worn it. It's a little bit far down. I've already worn it three different times, three different ways. Um, so I'll talk to you guys about how this went. <laughs> um, we're also getting in Ariana Grande's Pink Cloud. Cannot wait to compare those two. I've been hearing a lot of things, but I, you know, I, I need to find out for myself and I give you guys all the details there. And uh, then also we have the Barbie perfume coming in this week as well. Telling you so many new releases, uh, new packages coming in. And uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to jump into another topic per se. We got a lot of a, a great mix. I would say maybe a new release week because all of these are brand new to my nose. <laughs> all of these are new, most of them. Um, I also have a new one here, one of the decanters in the fragrance groups, Ingenuous Ginger by Goldfield and Banks, you guys. I sprayed this one night. I was sitting on the couch just like, mm, <laughs> this is, this is zingy. This is really, really zingy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we might give this a full day as well, Ingenuous Ginger by Goldfield and Banks Australia, you guys. Lots to come. Uh, you know, still lots of fragrances to talk about, layers and combinations, and I hope I'm not leaving anything out. My drawer is full here, <laughs> uh, but I think that's it. I just, I didn't want to only talk about the review. I wanted to, you know, I've just been so excited and lots of pent up energy over here in regards to fragrances that I want to share with you guys. Yes, so I hope you'll join me next couple of weeks. You know, um, I do also have a surprise, uh, you know, I don't know, like maybe 10 different fragrances of a certain uh, topic that I really want to focus on for a few weeks as well. So we're going to keep it going here. And I want to thank every single one of you for being on this journey with me. Um, if I if I come across an amazing fragrance day, I'm going to talk to you about it like I did today with Vampire Blood and Genre's Essence. Um, if I had a horrible fragrance day, I'm going to let you know. It's That's what we do here is we talk about fragrances in this closet. Again, thank you so much for being here and we're going to keep it going. Y'all have a blessed rest of your day, your night, or your evening, and you stay safe. Bye-bye.